Hello, my name is Aldo, and I work at the Harold Washington Library Center. Have you ever been interested in 3D printing, looking to design some practical and unique prints? Using free 3D modeling programs such as Tinkercad, you can create and design customizable practical prints. Today, we will learn how to make a small customizable planter using Tinkercad. And once you log into your Tinkercad account, you can go ahead and click on Create New Design. From here, you'll be taken to the work plane. Today, we're going to be using some basic shapes to create our planter. First step is to scroll over to the right under Basic Shapes and look for the polygon shape. Here it is. Go ahead and click on it, and then just drag it over to the work plane. Now we need to resize the shape. A good size you can use for a planter is about 50 millimeters on all sides. I'm going to go ahead and click on the shape. And you can see all the different black and white squares pop up. These allow us to reshape our polygon. If you click and drag on one of these white boxes, it will resize the shape. I want to make it about 50 millimeters all around. So it's important to hold down the shift button if you want everything to be proportional. As you can see, once I start dragging, shape starts getting bigger and those numbers start going up. Right now we have 51 millimeters about on this side and 44 down here. If you click on the other white squares, you can see the size of the sides, the size of the sides. Now, if I wanted to, I can also click in this white box here and I can type in the size that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 50 on this side. On this side. That makes everything pretty proportional. Right now, the size of my planter looks good. The shape looks good. Um, but you can always adjust it if you want. Just make sure the sides are about the same. I'm going to change this to about 57 just to see what it looks like. I kind of like the size of this here. Looks good to me, so that's going to be the size of my planter. Well, I forgot the height, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the height here. So if you click on this white box up at the top, you can go ahead and lower that to whatever height you want for your planter. I suggest 45, seems like a good number. Um, you can go higher or lower, um, but try to stay around 45 mil millimeters for your height. You can also click in this white box and type in the size that you want. Or use this white box here, just drag it up and down. Now that we've finished our first step, we can go on to creating the hole for our planter. So we're gonna go ahead and back to basic shapes, scroll up and click on the striped transparent box here. And we're gonna drag it over to our work plane. Now let's make this square about 37 by 37 to start out. You can always adjust the shape later. You see that doesn't fit. So I'm gonna type in 37, 37. Change the shape of my transparent square. That's more of a rectangle. I'm gonna go ahead and also adjust the height. So I'm gonna click here. Right now it's set at 20, but I'm gonna change it to 60. Just so that I know that it's gonna create the whole for my planter and I can see it popping out at the top. Now I also want to make sure that there's room for a base at the bottom of my planter. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on this black triangle to raise this transparent square up to about five millimeters off the grid. So as you can see here, it's five. It's about five millimeters up above the work plane. That ensures that my planter will have a base once I move this over onto the planter. So let's go ahead and drag this transparent box over our polygon shape. And we want to make sure it fits and also leave space for walls. We can always reshape it. We just want to make sure that there's walls on each side. So if I drag it over here, 
can see that it just barely fits into my shape. I'm going to have to adjust the size. But I also want to make it turn a little bit so that it's angled. It kind of looks like a diamond shape on the top of my planter. Kind of look like how that looks, but I still have the issue of a hole being created on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my transparent box and shrink the size down a little bit by clicking on these white boxes and holding down shift. That way I know that it fits exactly into my planter, I'm not creating any holes on the side. Well, I still see a little hole on the side there. So I'm just going to shrink it just a little bit more by clicking on the white box and holding the shift button down. And I'm going to use my arrows on the keyboard to move it in the center. But a real handy tool that you can also use is the align tool. You click and drag this red box over both shapes. Scroll, go up to the top here. You can see this align tool. That'll allow you put, to put this hole right in the middle of your planter. As you can see, went ahead and placed it right in the center of my planter using the align tool. I'll show you how to do that again. Just click on the align tool and then you're gonna click on these black little dots on the sides here to make sure that it's centered. So it looks pretty good. There's enough space for my walls on each side. Um, if you want, you can always adjust it and make it a little bit smaller. But I'm gonna go ahead and see how this looks once I create the hole. So in order to create the hole, you just click and drag over again, go up to the top, hit group, and that's going to create the hole for me. So the box grouped with the polygon and created that hole. So I like how my planter is turning out. It's almost done. All I need is a hole to be put at the bottom. Um, so that water can go through and doesn't stay in the planter. Let's go back over to basic shapes and we're going to find the cylinder shape. Transparent cylinder. I'm going to click and drag it over to the work plane. And I'm going to resize the cylinder because I want it to be a very small hole. It's going to go right in the middle of my planter. So I'm going to go ahead and make that four by four millimeters. Let's see. Pretty thin cylinder. And I'm just going to raise it up just so I can see where I'm placing it when I move it. Once I have the right size, I can go ahead and click it and I'm going to place it right in the middle of my planter. Uh, this is a good time to use the align tool again. If you click and highlight all three shapes, then go to align. Click on these little black circles in the middle to make sure that the cylinder is right in the middle of my planter. Now that it's in the right place, click, drag the red square over all three shapes and hit group. And I have my tiny little hole right in the middle of my planter there. Let's do some final checks to make sure that all my walls are connected. There's no weird Holes or gaps on the sides looks, looks pretty good to me. There's uh, some possible uh, optional customization steps that you can do to make your planter unique. We're gonna go ahead and do that now. Let's say if you wanna put a shape or a name or numbers on the side of your planter, you can do that pretty easily. I'm gonna go ahead and place a heart on my planter. So if I go under basic shapes, find a heart shape, click and drag it over to the work plane, I can go ahead and try to put this onto my one of the sides of my planter. All I have to do is resize the heart to make sure that it fits. So I'm going to click on this white square while holding shift to make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to raise it up by clicking on this black arrow. And I also need to rotate it. So by clicking on these arrows here, I can rotate this shape. It seems lined up pretty well. 
And I want to go ahead and make sure that it's rotated so that I can place it onto my planter. So I recommend using a mouse for this step. And in general, when you're using Tinkercad, it's good to have a mouse just because it's easier to navigate. So now that I have moved my heart, go ahead and adjust it one more time. Just play around with it until you get it right where you want it. And go ahead and place your objects right on your planter. You want to make sure that it is touching. And um, you don't want it to be too far out just because when it prints, it'll create a lot of um, supports because it's suspended in the air right here. So I'm going to go ahead and push this in a little bit. I just want to make sure that it's not going through my planter. I don't want it to, the shape to fall through here. I want there to be enough room for my plant and soil. So I'll go ahead and move that a little bit more. Um, right now, I like how that looks. I'm just going to move it down a little bit. Right there. And I think I can move it in a little bit more. There's my heart shape. And you can add, you know, whatever kind of um, image, uh, design onto your planter. Just make sure that it fits onto your planter and also doesn't create any holes or leads into this area over here. So now that my shape is where I want it to be, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the planter and my new shape and hit group so that it all gets printed together. The last optional thing that you can do for your planter is create a base. So um, since there's a hole at the bottom for the water to go through, uh, if you don't want the water to leak on your table or wherever you're putting your planter, you can always create a base. Um, you can also just put a paper towel underneath here to soak up the water. Let's go ahead and show you how to make a base. I recommend using the same shape that you use for your planner. So I'm going to use a polygon. Go ahead and place it here. And you remember our polygon was 50 by 50. So I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger. You want the base to be bigger. So I'm going to make this 60 by 60. And move it over here. You can see my planter fits right into there. You have to move it around a little bit. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and make it 65 by 65. And looks like the planter will fit pretty well over the base. I'm going to make my base a little bit smaller though, so I don't want it to be that high. So you can lower your base by clicking on that white square and dragging it down. And now you'll be able to print these two objects separately. Um, this can just be a base that you will use for your planter. So you can just take your planter and put it right over your base. Now, don't forget to share and submit your design to have it printed out at one of our print pickup branch locations. Um, if you need more assistance, be sure to check out our website at shypublic.org and register for one of our online workshops to see a 3D printing demonstration or get hands-on practice and helpful suggestions for using Tinkercad. And you can also watch other Tinkercad videos and tutorials um, and, and view step-by-step -step on how to create one of our practical print designs. So this is how to make a planter. I think this will make a really nice gift um, or you know, something that you can use at your desk or outside uh, now that the weather is getting a little bit nicer. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you next time. Take care.